Hello, welcome back again to the channel. Again, on this video, we're gonna discuss problem from Baby Rudin's Principle of Analysis. Now, problem eight on chapter one. So we are going to prove that C, the complex field is not an ordered field. Because before we get started, so please give it a try first and you may pause the video now. Okay, let's get started. So, suppose on the contrary that C is an ordered field. So, let's imagine that C is already a field and we have an order in C such that it satisfy the axioms of order field. We will uh, write down later what the order need to satisfy in order C to be an order field, okay? So what's gonna happen? Then C will satisfy the axioms of order. So the first one, we can read it as follows. If we have an inequality, then that inequality is being preserved. If we add to the left or to the right, to the left and to the right of the inequality with the same element Z or any z, right? And the second one is that if we have two elements who are bigger than zero, then their product is still bigger than zero. So of course, the notion of greater or smaller here is not necessarily the same as an order in the real field. It can be any order that we put on a complex number, okay? So that's the consequence of C being an ordered field, right? So now consider an element I in C, right? So this is a, a prominent member of the complex field. So first we notice that clearly I is not equal to zero. Why is that? We can argue as follows. If i is equal to zero then when the left hand side raised to the fourth power it should be the same as the right hand side raised to the fourth power right so i to the fourth power is the same as zero to the fourth power but what is i to the fourth power i times i is minus one so minus one times minus one is one so the left hand side is equal to one and zero times zero times zero times zero is clearly zero. So if i is equal to zero, then it implies that one must be equal to zero. But it is explicitly stated in the axioms of field that in a field, the identity element or the neutral element of multiplication must be different from the neutral element of uh, addition. Right, at least uh, in the definition of the complex field, right? So, so then because of this, i is clearly not equal to zero. So if i is not equal to zero, then we have two other possibilities. Either i is smaller than zero, or i is greater than zero. Let us first, let us first consider what happened if i is greater than zero zero okay so if i is greater than zero then by the second property if we multiply this i three times with itself then we still get a, a, a positive number a positive in the sense that the order is greater than zero okay so i times i times i will be greater than zero but i times i times i is equal to minus i right so minus i is greater than zero. Now according to the first property, if we add this inequality to the left and to the right by i, okay, so we get this, and the left hand side turns into zero. Meanwhile, the right hand side is equal to i. So if we read from the right to the left, then this says that i is smaller than zero. Meanwhile, in the beginning, we suppose that i is greater than 
zero. So certainly there is a contradiction here. So which one is true? i is greater than zero or i is smaller than zero? So it cannot be both, right? So because of that, then it is not possible to have i to be greater than zero. So then we consider the last possibility, which is i is less than zero. So what happens if i less than zero? Again, by the first property, we add something to the left, we add something to the right. We add minus i, negative i to the left, and negative i to the right. So we have something like this. And the left-hand side turns into zero. Right. Meanwhile, the right-hand side is minus i. So now, if we read from the right to the left, it says that minus i is greater than zero. According to the second property, if we multiply, <coughs> if we multiply several elements which is greater than zero, then the result still greater than zero. So minus i times minus i times minus i is greater than zero, but the left-hand side can be simplified into what? Into i, right? Because minus i times minus i is, is what? Is negative one. Negative one times negative i is i. So then i is greater than zero. But again, we arrive at a contradiction since here we say that i is greater than zero. Meanwhile, over here, i is smaller than zero. Therefore, i cannot be smaller, cannot be greater, and cannot be equal to zero. Then it means c is, an, is not a total ordered field, which is contradicts the assumption that c is an ordered field, right? So therefore, the conclusion is that the complex field is not an ordered field. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you again on the next video. Peace.